Now entity is declared. We'll move to the architecture, which is nothing but a data flow architecture for the full adder. Now architecture full adder. Architecture name is full adder data flow of entity name. So I'll write here. This is entity name as it is you have to write here this is the name of architecture okay full adder data flow fa underscore data flow is the name of architecture which is nothing but the data flow architecture that's why i written here fa data flow for the entity fa underscore df is begin with so in this particular data flow modeling we are actually concerned with the data how the data is flow so uh, we know that sum and the carry equations we have already done here, solved here. So we have to implement these equations. So how you include it? Begin S, that is the final output, which will be the combination of A XR with B XR with C in. Means what? <coughs> First of all, this expression is calculated and the whatever the value is there, which is assigned to S. Simultaneously, C that is nothing but the carry the expression is a and with b or a and with c in or b and with c in it will be assigned to c and this is the final two outputs so the structure data flow is over and we will end the architecture by ending and architecture name is fa data flow i'll write it down as it is the semicolon comment part you can mention here for the architecture directly that it is a concurrent assignments now what do you mean by concurrent assignment simultaneously s and c will be calculated or be evaluated for depending on the values of a b and c now, as soon as the a b c are changed the values of c s and c are updated and the program is executed so this is the advantages in the this is the more uh, advantage in the vhdl programming that you don't have to go in sequence you can write the order anywhere you can also write down c earlier to s and you can com compute s later on so this is the advantage in the data flow modeling or in uh, all the vhl cases this is called as concurrent assignment okay so that's all about the data flow modeling in the vhgl directly you have to assign the equations okay now Thank you for watching in five minutes and the rest of the two modeling styles are there which are nothing but a structural modeling and the behavioral modeling in VHDL. For that stay tuned to in five minutes and thank you for watching in five minutes.